coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of JK. trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 26 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Sean Strickland! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. several UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, here we go, early round one. We talked about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Just out of range with that right hook. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Big leg kick land. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Got the single collar tie. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from this 
clinch position. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Single collar tie now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Oh, what a punch. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Can't take many of those, you better check. Back and forth we go. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Big punch lands through the middle. A oh, little single collar tie there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a pistol back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh! Knee to the body! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that new leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping. He's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Misses with that punch. Right under the elbow by the lane. And he landed the right hand there. Dig and kick. Oh, nice. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Big elbow! Able to check that kick as well. Big Round two next. Why don't we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Round two underway. Oh, big head kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. A 
Assume nice body kick there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, big elbow. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. He landed that punch flush. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullets. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, collar tie. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big kick lands. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. What a tricky head. The next there with the punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. Beautiful body kick. Straight punch lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Both fighters throwing heat now. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Huge knee lands from the tie clinch. Punch over the top. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always see it. Oh! All oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Ten minutes in the books. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Good punch. Oh, caught 
getting him flushed with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Big body kick lands. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Takedown defense holds up. Big kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. Good stick. Right on the button. Nice. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Got the single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Single collar tie now. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Single collar tie there. Huge block there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Double leg. Stuffed. And there comes the separation now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, nice jab. Checks the leg kick. another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting this. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. What a punch. Real quick leg And kick. both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, another head kick lands. How is this man still standing? Unbelievable toughness, but even better execution on the other side. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, no! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh man, head kick land. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Oh, stop, stop. 
All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice punch, Lance. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ooh, what a punch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, collar tie. To the leg kick now, that one's no good. Look at the angle of that nice body strip. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Powerful leg kick land. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And they separate. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Great punch. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the oh. redness there. Oh, he might be out. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. to avoid a separation. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh! Good punch, Lance. Oh, nice. Nice. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big kick lands. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Go! Oh! Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly 
exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of round number four. He's playing the winner by knockout, the All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.